Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be doing the uh, seashell tutorial. We're going to be doing like three of them. We'll be using fondant or gum paste. This is the ones available right now, so this is the one I'm going to use a fondant. Now, some color gel, preferably brown. Put it aside. Some water place to mix your color with some shortening a sponge you might want to use uh, luster dust or pearl dust a scallop tool um, but you can you can um, do away with this one even if it's not here you can use another thing and this one the brush so now Let's get started. Take your fondant, cut it into let's say three. Okay, this size. So I'm gonna be doing three uh, seashells, right? And then form it into ball, like so. Okay. Two. And three. Now, let's work with the first one. Set this aside so that they won't dry up. Now take this one and form it into a spear, like so. Because we're going to be doing the sundial seashell, right? There we go. Roll it like this. There. Okay. There we go. And then what you're gonna do is press or make a dent at the largest portion or the part where it's large like this. And what you're gonna do is get the smallest side of it and you start rolling. There. There you go. Got it? Okay. There you go. As easy as this. You have now your sundial. See? It's easy. Alright. Okay, it's easy peasy. There. And then you set this aside dry up maybe several hours will do and you won't get any problem coloring it afterwards now we already have our, uh, our uh, sorry sundial there then we get the other one this time what we're gonna do is another type of shell and you need to do is to scroll it into so like when you're making a, a rosebud the thingy yeah. those of you who are making flowers the rose flowers you just make the ones in the center the core or the base now this one now it's it's shaped like a cone right I hope so <laughs> now what you're gonna do is to pinch on the side there it's like making a fin of the fish there there you go hope you're following now 
this time you press the the large part of the, the cone and then you want to make or rather pinch in the center so that you'll get a spike there and then same on the side you pinch a bit and make those thingy oh sorry <laughs> there you go I hope you're following there there are some spikes now hope you can see them now on this side or the, the one that is like a fin what you're gonna do with that is to press it towards the body there Look what we got. There you go. Does it look like a shell to you now? <laughs> it does to me. There you go. See? Easy as this. Now you have a shell. Okay. We got two now. And then the last one will be doing a I'm going to make a clamshell there sorry about the background we're living near the street so there are some cars passing by making those tug things or tug sounds around because of the manhole there <laughs> there you go so now you press it now this is where your scallop tool works come in handy there so what you're gonna do is you press this uh, rig part with ridges there and you press from the outside going in like so all over the shell and all over the ocean <laughs> kidding side there you make those marks those line marks there you go and then what you want to do is you press this side there press and you get this one and press it towards the inside inside part of the shell so this time you have this form all right now you have your shell as easy as one two three right there you go now you're gonna dry this up for several hours I guess for them to dry up a bit so that you can paint them there you go On the next video, I'll be showing you how to color this, but uh, for the moment, you ha we have to dry this up first. We have the sundial, we have this, uh, I don't know, I haven't uh, researched for the name of this yet, but this one I know, it's a clam shell. There you go. So there you are, you have three shells for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.